Hey, I don't know if I'm going to actually do anything with this or not, but I'm going to do some show and tell. So I figured I'd record it. These are some rare stuff. So I just wanted to show it off. Oh, well, first off, you know what? This is not going to make, this is not going to make the edit. So I'm going to, I'm going to say this. If anyone was interested in this Dalmatian lunar. Wow. my There we go. Okay. If anyone is interested in this Dalmatian lunar, I will cut a very nice deal. I had this, this was, this is easily dollars a gram. I'll do it for dollars a gram because I want to get this one. And Sue knows what I'm going to show. I want to purchase oh, this gosh. for myself. And my boss has told me I have to get rid of some in order to collect more. But just nice. look at how look at how beautiful this is. Oh my god! I think I recognize that one. Yep, yeah. I recognize that one. Yeah, this is the one I was telling you about last night, Cliff. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh. This this one I I picked it up so many times. I've looked at it and enjoyed it so many times. I was like I almost owe him money for it already. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, absolute beautiful, beautiful lunar. So this one is uh, NWA 15655 with crest. Yeah, Felpathic Breccia. Just gorgeous. Just, yeah, I totally want that in my shelf. Um, I have some angrites to show off today. Yes. Angrites are- <laughs> They've buried. seen it before. <laughs> Um, but yeah, not, I think, not in multiple pieces. <laughs> yeah, well, I was going to, yeah, I'll show that one first. Um, this one, it's Fazul, Fazu002. It's an Angre, and it's gorgeous. I was actually able to get this, get my piece, is a nine gram piece. And I was able to get it broken into four pieces. And they are gorgeous. This right here. This is probably the best because that's the exterior of the rock. And look at the. Uh... Yeah, it is good. It's very friable on the edges. It's. You see it on my finger. Oh, every, yeah. Every time you touch it, it costs you $5. So here, here's the other big one. These crystals are just amazing. When I look at it under my eye loop, it's, it's just enthralling. I wonder if this will zoom in anymore. No. Are angrites particularly uh, friable? Yeah. Really? Wow. A fresh ones, fresh ones are. Yeah. So yeah, this is a this is a fresh one. But it's not the freshest. I have the the freshest angry ever found next. But you can see the big grains, like it's ready to fall apart, basically. Yeah. So this is Fazu002. Look at that. It's gorgeous. This may be the prettiest piece. Yeah. The back side of it. So angrates, as we know, are formed deep down that micro. Um, this one is, I just got it. Um, it's, oh, there we go. It's Burzar001, Gabroic angrate. It's the freshest angrate ever recovered. Tatooine. That's not how you spell it. Is that is that a different way of spelling Tatooine? Is that a different I've place? I've seen it wow. spelled a few different ways in the metal. Wow. <laughs> That's odd. Okay. Well, this is this is it right here. And I'm going to show it to you. You know, I wonder if I can leave it in here and do this. Yeah, you can see it good nicely in there. And the freshest angry is, you know what? I want to take it out. Oh, boy. Be careful, Topher. Remember, I had to lay on the floor yesterday to find one of your knock lights. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is true. <laughs> this is true. <laughs> wow. 
So that one is super cool. I haven't decided if I'm keeping this one or not. So if someone makes an offer or wants it, is interested in, in the freshest Gabroic Angra ever found, let me know. Um, let Sue know, because she'll be glad to sell that to you. <laughs> um, this is a really- Where's Chris cool... Monk when I need him? Jeez. Uh, <laughs> this, I, I sh I've shown it once before, but I, I, I want to discuss it a little bit. It's Juan Zawatan, Zawatin, 001. It is a super, super, super unique material. Um, I actually wrote some notes about it because I wanted to discuss it. This is what it looks like right here. That's fusion crust on the outside. Um, so I'll show this off in a second, but I wanted to share some information about it that I, that I wrote earlier. So, um, so this this meteorite only has like two main components in it, and that's all. And then even calls it out in the, in the Met Bulls being like easier to classify because there's a lack of stuff in it. Um, 76% a Northite, 24% orthopryoxene. So this is an evolved achondrite. It's an ungrouped achondrite. Um, they, it's a, it's unofficially called a, uh, a Northite rich. It's an achondrite ungrouped, but a Northite rich with digenetic affinities. The affinities are in the mineral and oxygen composition. Um, it is not a noritic diagenite because uh, it, it doesn't line up with noritic diagenites, even though it has diagenic affinities. And it cannot be called anorthocytic because it lacks plagioclase. So I don't know if anyone got that or not, but... <laughs> That's what I learned today. Um, this is a 440 gram total known weight single stone. And uh, it is expensive material, but super rare. I'm gonna put my camera back on and show it off now. So this is Juan Zetalon. Hmm. We'll look at the interior first. Really super weird. Now that is the fusion crusted side. See some, uh, this side actually has really good fusion crust on it as well. And see how thin the fusion crust and translucent it is. It calls it out in the Met Bull as having translucent fusion crust. But there's 440 grams of this only. This piece right here is seven, just over 17 grams. It's $300 a gram. So this is about between $4,500 and $5,000. But the because of the the presence of only those two um, minerals, they say that it is a very evolved, um, not primitive achondrite, and probably came from a. I, I should read the scientific paper on before I talk, but it probably came from more of an evolved planet like parent body than an asteroid or something like that if that makes sense there was one other rare one that we had on our sale on sunday that i wanted to talk about a little bit more as craig was selling it and he mentioned that this is okay uh, it's a dunite it's an ungrouped achondrite but it's a dunite it's 90 percent olivine um there was the interesting thing about this, as Craig explained, is this one is super, super rare 
because of what it is, but also because it has palisitic impactor in it. So the impactor that ejected this off of its parent body was a palisite. And there's little bits of palisite in this thing. And there was, I think they said it was a single stone in that stone. When they cut it, there was five slices that had palisite in it. And he accounted for four pieces, four slices. He didn't know I had the fifth one. So I have the fifth one. I want to show off some of the palisite parts to you guys if you want to look at them. This is the one I got in Tucson for myself, which may now be available thanks to Topher's boss. Um, <laughs> if you look right here, this is this is the material, the 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 white and gray and a little bit of black, but this right here is the palisite it has lots of metal in it and the olivine actually looks like palisite olivine and then uh let me see here yeah i have no idea what i believe this is both the palisite impactor as well because that's looks like this this is definitely the palisite impactor right there and I'm not exactly sure what that is. It looks super rare, but it's not as it's not metallic. It's not it's not as shiny as the nickel iron that's in the palisite impactor right here. But Craig didn't really do a great job showing off the material. He was showing it off on webcam, and it's not very enjoyable. But this look at this metal up here. You can even see an etch in it. Yeah. Very interesting. It looks like that that one shape. Pull it back on the screen for a second. And look, that looks like a diamond shape, but like right underneath yeah. it, like there's green. And then yeah. if you go over to the left more too, there's more green. Um, yeah. oh right, yeah, right there. Oh, well, I'm I'm pointing. You can't see where I'm pointing, yeah. but you see you see it right there in the middle of the screen yeah. now. Yeah. There's so it's so colorful. All these little brown spots right here have metal in the center from the palisite impact. This right here is more, but the metal's on this side. So that's one piece of it. Um, I want to show you the best example of it because I also, I also have this right here. This piece right here is absolutely crazy. This is not what yeah, Greg, you were talking about, you know, price per gram per meteorites. Um, that this one, pieces like this are not sold by price per gram. This is sold by the piece. Because if I sold this by the gram, I get ripped off. Look at this. Look at that. Oh, that is pretty. <laughs> is that insanely beautifully rare look and the olivine it's all green like sue was saying earlier but that piece of, is amazing yeah of the the rarest of the rare and this is a rare slice and a rare part of the slice this one just took my breath away when i saw it you can see the the it is definitely a palisite in there it's unbelievable if i if god if i had chris monk's balls i'd etch that um here's another little piece that has oh, it's got a, it's got something on it yeah it's got yeah. no it's got like a oh. linter <laughs> yeah gotcha. there's another one that has a tiny little palisite impactor in it as well this is the this is the mumbo jumbo that this one really gives you a good example or a good idea of the of the the, the piece itself and what the material looks like Seems to be uh, obviously a breccia. This is gonna fall off, I bet. Oh my god! Yeah, but here's the here's the palisite. Yeah, art. I art, wish sa art says that's a keeper. I, I <laughs> see. I agree with art. So here here's the impactor uh, with some metal visible in it, and when you turn it over to the other side, that's where you can see that. 
So super ultra rare dunite material with a rare palisite smashed into it, only available in five slices. And I was able to secure one of them. And I have some subgram pieces for you guys too. <laughs> Yeah, so I thought that was super interesting. I wanted to share that with you because we were talking about rare stuff. Um, this would not be rare according to Sue because this is something that I fell in love with and I bought for myself. And that's not rare at all, she says. Does, does anyone want to venture a guess as to what classification this is? I can turn it over. We have no guesses. No, they need to guess before you turn it over. Does anyone have a guess? It's not one of the not one of the lunar finds, is it? I wish. Some sort of primitive achondrite. Like a uralite, maybe? Uh I was actually thinking a little bit more like a yeah, maybe a uralite, acapocalite. Oh my God, if this was Acapulco, I could retire. <laughs> I go to, Acapulco. I go to Acapulco. Is that Chris oh, Monk? You cry. That's yes. Welcome to the show, buddy. Thanks. Um, you say uh, you cry? Yep. Welcome to the show. You're wrong. <laughs> any, other, <laughs> any other guesses? That would have been my first guess when you turned it over. <laughs> This is Bechar 008. It was a Howardite. Uh oh. A very nice, uh -huh. dark Howardite. And yeah, that's, that's Howardite. really dark for a Howardite. Yeah, yeah. That, that threw that's me the darkest Howardite I've ever seen. Mm hmm. So, just so you guys know, I have to be full, full honest with you. We had hundreds of meteorites in the house for the sale last weekend. And every single one of them made it to the to the sale, except for this one. This is the only one I pulled out and said, I am not going, I'm going to buy it at full price. I'm not going to ask for a discount, but no one else is having a chance to steal this out from underneath me. And then I put it back on the sale train. Yeah, yeah, and she put it back in the inventory <laughs> pile three times. It was like an ongoing joke. I had to walk by and pull it out. Like, Jesus. <laughs> Yeah, so that's mine. It's beautiful. It's 196 grams. And wow. I believe that's all I wanted to show off. Thanks a lot, guys. Uh, if members or whoever's watching this, you're awesome. <laughs> See ya. <laughs>